Hi guys, uh, I tell you what, this is another day at the farm and uh, we just had somebody on Facebook uh, put out a request see if anybody wanted any peaches. They had more than enough bonus year and they were free. So you pick them, you take them. So we picked, or I should say I picked, uh, two half gallon buckets. One of white peaches and one of uh, yellow peaches, I guess is how they're classified. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. The white peaches are designated as a low acid, so your ability to easily can them is not very good. So I've been trying to figure out, hey, what am I going to do with all these peaches that I've got? So as you can see, it's a lot. And uh, so... The first thing I thought of is, is from your Aunt Teresa is, is that, hey, why don't, why don't we try to dehydrate these suckers? So I did a little searching on the internet and this is what I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm actually water, I'm putting them in the water to kind of clean them up. They've, I talked to the owner, they've not been sprayed. So, so that's good. Uh, so I'm, wa I'm washing them off. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm slicing these in half and and taking out the pit and uh, the reason I'm taking this pit out and saving it is, is I'm going to try plant planting them uh, somewhere on the farm and uh, see if they come up so maybe not my generation but another generation now a couple of these things have like little uh, bruises on them so I'm going to cut those out but you'll notice they have little brown spots on them. Those are just from the sun or they, some of them might be from insects, but for the most part, they're just like little sun bleaches and there's nothing wrong with them. And I haven't seen very many spots on them. So what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna cut these into quarter inch, quarter inch slices. And I'm getting about five slices. These are a little small as you can see. And I'm gonna slice these into like quarter inches, quarter inch slices. And then what I'm doing is that I put them in an acidic bath and so this is eight cups of water uh, one cup of sugar and a half a cup of vinegar and the vinegar is there to just make sure that they don't turn color and turn brown and uh, the sugar is there just to give them a little bit of a little bit of uh, a s additional sweetness to them I don't think they need that but that's what I'm going to do uh, so that they don't lose that in that dehydration process and also sugar is a natural preservative and uh, then lastly when I put them on when I put them on these dehydrating trays the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cinnamon a little cinnamon on it just to give them a nice little a nice little flavor I won't probably do it to all of them but I'll do it to some and I've got so many here I might even try and do a heat uh, a heat with some uh, uh, with some hot peppers and see and see how that turns out. Well, I'm just about done with uh, getting all these peaches prepared. Like I said, I've got all these pits that I'm going to use. Um, I'm just a little bit about my process. So I've been putting on just a sprinkling on a bunch of little cinnamon. And then what I'll do is I'll lightly go over with this sugar and as I mentioned earlier it's just a natural preservative from what I read so uh, so we got that just make sure they all got something on them and uh, a little bit of sugar Okay, so a couple more things I learned. So these peaches all have these little specks on them. They're called freckles. They said it's perfectly natural, and it says it's pretty common in stone fruit, which a peach is. 
Um, there's another thing that I saw. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bunch of gelatin, if you can see. And after I washed these peaches, some of them had gelatin coming out of them. So I did a little research on those, and that, that gelatin is residue from a stink bug. So what I did is anytime I saw that, that residue, those things, I just cut them out. Uh, and uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on, it says to do 135 degrees uh, for anywhere from 8 to 36 hours. I'm thinking these are going to be 36 hours. But what we'll do is, is I'm going to probably put this at 160 and leave this outside and dehyd dehydrating. So I'll uh, include a picture here at the end on how that looks. But... Uh, Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.